Hi guys, so welcome back. Um, it's quite a few new members that have come on, so just want to welcome everybody. Um, I'll send them a text out later as well. Um, so it's been, it's been quite a busy few weeks, um, just getting everything ready. Um, the alignment modality workshop starts this Monday, so looking forward to that. Um, so I'm getting that prepared, um, just finishing off some writing um, and just doing some more channeling. Um, so a lot of stuff coming through. Um, which is really good for me. So I, that's why I've been off for the last sort of two weeks because I've, I've just been too busy with this um, and getting all the information down for the for the other book. Um, and just before I start as well, if anyone knows any publishers, um, if if yeah, if you've got any friends or contacts in in publisher houses, uh, please please do let me know um, because obviously with the COVID shutdown, um, it really shut shut down a lot of um, meetings and book fairs and all the rest where we'd normally get out and. Um, be able to interact with people um, so um, I, I trust it will always come at the right time but I just felt I should ask uh, if anyone knows anyone so please do let me know um, wonderful so we're going to be talking about thought today because as you as you know now we're, we're releasing a lot of the male archetypal energy um, we're releasing the male energy or the trauma around the male energy so we're bringing the love of that feminine in um, and we, we are becoming into, into the collective, we're coming into a receptive age where we need to surrender, we need to be living in the moment because we can only receive what we, what we need in the, in the moment. Um, and in order to do that, we must um, balance out our thinking and our thoughts. Um, and again, many people have talked about beliefs, the ego, how thought creates reality and all the rest of it. However, this is a really crucial time now because we are being, I don't like to use the word tested, but we are being urged and pushed by our souls to, to disconnect um, from just running from that energy, from that societal programming, because we all know that it cannot take us any further uh, and the planet would not be in the mess it is now if we, um, if, if we, if we just stop thinking. Um, and, you know, we've, we've numerous amounts of energy and, and self-inquiry uh, and struggling and striving to find our answers. And we still haven't found them because we're trying to do it through, through the mind, through logical pursuit. Um, and this is the same as intelligence. How do we weigh intelligence up on this life? Well, it's how well you did at university. How many A's and B's? That's not intelligence. That's academic intelligence. Anyone can incarnate and be a, a, a scientist if they wanted to. Just depends on their soul contract. Intelligence is being able to change. It's being able to trust something within ourselves. It's about having knowledge of what's in the wider consciousness, the wider universe, and plugging into that. That's true intelligence. So again, it's about really how we we take our life forward because the, the narrative on this planet has become so arrowhead that it's almost impossible for people to unplug. And the generations of, and it's only really in the, the sort of 60s, 70s, you know, the Aquarian age anyway, the start of that, but the 60s, 70s babies that really started to ground this, this foundational energy. And if you look at the children now that are born from the noughties, they're very, very intuitive, very highly aware and conscious of everything around them. Uh, and the children now are, are really um, laying down the new foundation for planet Earth. Um, so this is also why you're seeing a lot of um, older, shall we say, uh, older energies leaving the planet now because it, the resonance just doesn't fit anymore. You know, we've discussed this about the vibration and everything, 3 and 4D and all the rest of it. Um, but the, it's the old paradigm of thinking, um, and that is what is still holding us all back. Uh, and Spirit has said many times, um, I, and I think it was, yeah, I, I channeled it as well, and Amin, through Jennifer's channeling, and, and Amin was very clear and, as well when I was speaking to him that humanity is now going backwards. Um, we've got to a point where we've we've isolated ourselves so far from our truth, from our souls. Um, and this is why the soul has taken over. And you remember that iceberg analogy, I said that everything became unconscious at the beginning of last year when we went into the COVID. Um, it's the unseen was taking over and it was starting to push through um, the consciousness that's behind us, trying to bring that to the surface. Um, how well that's going at the moment, I don't know around the planet, but things are shifting um, more overt 
at the moment, sorry, covert at the moment, and hopefully that's going to turn into more of an overt um, um, projection onto our, especially onto our, our news screens and all the rest of it. Um, <clears throat> so really it's about self-inquiry at the moment. We really need to disconnect from that narrative because, again, we are so caught up in thinking what is right. And this channel message I'm about to, to, to talk about actually explains a bit more about that. Um, and how that frequency has held us in a sort of paralysis. Um, so again, we have to be very conscious of what we're actually projecting out and what we believe is right sometimes isn't. Um, and it's because we have so much conditioning and programming around that. And even the spiritual people, what we call spiritual people out in the New Age movement, are, are hitting a, a brick wall now because it just there's too much separation in the New Age movement as well. Um, so everything's getting flipped on its head um, and everything's turning around. Um, and the good thing was, I was always told this as a young, you know, whatever they teach you, do the opposite. And then you'll find resonance with your soul. Um, and that, I've put that into many things and it's actually very true, actually. And, and if you sort of digest that into your own life, you'll, you'll sort of work that out as well. All right. Hello, hello everyone. A few people said hello. Sorry. Um, right. So I'm going to read off this channel message now. Um, so I just called it Thought. And in some ways, you know, is thought, what is thought, and how do we work with it? Okay, so this was channeled about half an hour ago, so again, very relevant to right now. In essence, you cannot magnetise energy without feeling, and you cannot manifest without the feminine. The structure of your universe allows free will, however, your thoughts must be aligned with divine current, otherwise you are not living the truth of your experience. If you think of something, in truth, it should manifest under universal law. And in your light bodies, this is a reality. However, the frequency of, of the thoughts released on earth don't have the power to manifest because they are not in alignment with divine current. You can only come into this alignment when the soul is anchored in the human body as a conscious reality. And when you think of your dreams, do they often manifest? The answer is no in most cases, because the huge amount of doubt, fear and confusion you have created over lifetimes through your thinking has created so much emotional charge that it blocks the manifestation. So thought without a clear emotional body creates more doubt, fear and despair. If you are aligned with the soul body, the feminine aspect of awakened consciousness, then you automatically draw on your soul contract each and every present moment. And all thought becomes organised and directed by the soul, not the ego. The perception of reality in your 3D world is enormously limited through false beliefs that are fed each day through thought. However, when the soul desires you to do something, it imprints the image and the idea into your third eye via the solar plexus. And this is followed by excitement. If you don't get a good feeling, feel excited or I just know sensation, then the likelihood is your thoughts are manifesting from beliefs and the ego. Thought without the love of the soul is false. It's indoctrinated through a society of misinformation and this leads to more disappointment over and over again. The only block to manifesting your dreams in, uh, on either of your path, if you're off path with your soul contract or have, sep sorry, the only block to manifesting your dreams is either you are off path with your soul contract or you have sabotaging belief systems. When you are soul aligned, you feel your way through life and often what you thought you wanted drops away and is replaced with an inner feeling, a safety of happiness and contentment and something you didn't dream of manifests in front of you. That is right for you, that will bring you the most joy. So the question is, can you really know what you want, living through a fickle mind? You are all being tested by your own souls this year to let go of what you thought you wanted and to surrender to what you already have planned before this incarnation. The male energy of searching striving, struggling, can no longer serve you. And if you persist through the mind this year, you will hit roadblocks. 
because your soul will simply not allow you to keep going, <clears throat> excuse me, going aimlessly ahead with no true connection to the light within you. Now, your minds have been very good at making you believe you are connected, but until you connect into your subconscious and clear your timelines, it will be very hard to keep up the mental projection. Ancient grief and despair is surfacing in every human being, and you must come, become conscious of what is unconscious, otherwise you will start to freak out, like many on the planet already are. So, stop thinking and start living. You are, already, you are all ready for this, and it's only your denial that will hinder your progression. So, there's obviously, you know, again, we, we, we create a narrative in our minds based on false belief systems that we've been carrying for many, many lifetimes. And we're now being offered that chance to release them. And all you have to do is surrender. It doesn't have to be a long thought out process and it definitely doesn't mean you have to get into the story of why because as soon as you start questioning why this is happening then you you create more mental energy so really it's about surrendering and that's why I shared the soul um, the soul connection because if you start to live in the moment with the soul things will just start to manifest around you and you will start to open up to the wider universe around you you know consciousness is here you just need it's, it's, it's vibrating right in front of you but because we're so trained not to see it um, we don't we don't feel it um, so really it's about just surrendering in the moment uh, and finding um, that peace in the moment and if anyone wants the soul exercise they haven't got it I'll, I can I'll just post it again on the video on the, on the group uh, and just watch the video at least once and then I'll post the, um, the written copy um, and that's all just start the process of, of getting into that sort of full now present moment um, and then you can set that intention to um, be mindful uh, of what thoughts are not in alignment with the soul any longer um, because the ego creates such a construct around us that we start believing that we're doing the right thing and often it takes us off path or we, we know we've moved much slower than we can or we're actually sabotaging uh, what we are what, what our soul really wants us to, to to be involved with you know and a great example of this is is, is relationships you know, we, we stay in relationships through the fear because through thought, you know, we won't have money. We, we, you know, we've got the house together. We've got the kids. But, you know, often most, this is why the divorce rate is so high because, we, you know, most people are married to their second or third relationship where they should be married to their sixth or seventh relationship. And what we do is we, we block that. And this is why the soul gets stuck and why, we, why the emotions get so heavy is because we keep living in that circular nature of thought and we don't break through it you know we and often like i said societal programming says you know for example marriage you know like do not get divorced you know we make these vows if you're religious then you know that's very indoctrinated into your dna into your cells so sometimes it's very very hard to break through that you know and this is why we're starting to sort of push through a little bit more of that sort of living in the moment because then you start to feel that actually, and it's the feeling that actually takes you out of that, that cycle. Um, and it overrides what the mind is saying. Like the mind says, no, stay with the person. You know, we've got a house together. How are we, how are we gonna live? You know, and, and, you, and people sit there, and I have many clients that do it, and, they, and it's, it, you know, I, we talk about it and we get them to understand it. You know, people do break through. But it's, 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 it's sad because, you know, you're sitting there suffering um, when you don't have to. Um, and this is why people, you know, have affairs, why, why, why people stay and why people become very unhappy and make excuses, you know, I'll stay with the children, it's for the children, because what actually happens is children are very, very conscious, more so than most parents, because most times they're more connected. And especially now, they're living in a higher dimensional frequency. So if you're staying together, for, I'm just using this as an example, I hope it's not triggering too many people at the moment, but if you're staying together, and you're living uh, without that love connection, they actually become more unhappy. But most people I speak to say, well, we'll get divorced when the children go to school and then they leave home or something. You know, it, it's happier, you know, the children will be happier, but no, they're not because they're picking up on your unhappiness. If you were living in two different houses and the children went to both houses and every time they went to each house, both parents were happy, then those will be happy. 
yeah, you know, so again, it's all our thinking and our thoughts, you know, we'll stay in a job because of the fear of the money. If you work on the fear, that will fade away. And then you can feel that the soul wants you to go to a new job and then you just let go of that job. And often the soul will step in and create like, um, like not what we call sabotage, but the soul will step in and say, right, okay, you're going to get the sack now or you're going to get redundant. Because if you don't listen, the soul will often step in and create chaos. Um, and this is why you see a lot of people going into chaos and they're having these sudden freakouts and, and accidents and all the rest of it. Uh, or their life just falls apart straight away but because they haven't been listening. And it's because of the mental projection of thought. Um, so really it's about, we need to really surrender. And the first part, part of that is coming into the soul body. And then the rest will start to lay itself out. Because then you have to trust the feelings. Uh, and again, this is another thing. Um, trust is a, is a huge thing for people. Um, but I'll be talking a lot more about this because it's starting to ramp up. And if you tune into the conscious of the planet at the moment, there is a lot of, um, like I said, panic, fear and despair. But there's a lot of anger now starting to come up because people are angry through the misinformation. Um, they realise that what they're being told doesn't actually take them to what they're being told they will get. Uh, and this is the problem. And this is, you're seeing it in America right now um, as a prime example. Um, so, and, and, and even in England, I mean, there's very strange things going on here at the moment as well. Um, but that sort of, that sort of plugged into to the, 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 the monarchy and the government model. Um, and you can see people just following it aimlessly without questioning it. And it's, it's quite frightening here, actually. Um, you do see in the sort of the southern hemisphere, it's a lot more relaxed and people are a lot more fluid and not so plugged into it. Um, but there's, you know, the northern hemisphere holds a lot of mental energy, see, so especially Europe. And it's really trying to let go of that very ingrained old energy. Um, so you will see different things happening in different countries and that will be more sort of um, overt in the next few months as well. Um, hi Annabelle. Um, so yeah, so let's just, we'll just, like I said, we'll just keep talking every week. We'll just be in the moment with things coming up. I think when the channel messages come through, you know, they're in alignment with what's going on with most of us at the, at the, in that moment, in that, in that week, in that week, in that month. Um, so yeah, so we'll keep going. All right, guys, all the best. Take care. I'll speak to you soon.